Okay, in tonight's Bay Area Proud, we spend time with a very famous chef. But we're not talking about making food. We're talking about making a difference in the lives of others. Garvin joins us now with that story. Tonight's Bay Area Proud. Jessica, Chef Roland Passeau is a legend in the Bay Area dining scene. He ran San Francisco's Michelin star La Folie for more than 30 years, and he's now the head of a restaurant group that includes the Left Bank Brasseries. Now in his 60s, Roland says he likes the change of not having to be in the kitchen every day. It's not the only change he's embraced over his career, and it's a lesson he's happy to share. Right now, we're prepping for lunchtime. 50 years ago, when Roland Passot began his journey that would take him to the heights of French cuisine, the escargot, there was good food, for sure, just not always good times. The treatment of those looking to make a name for themselves often involved a lot of name-calling, and worse. Abusive is another word for it. It was. It was, absolutely. And what are you working on right now, chef? But it was also a system that made Roland the great chef he is. So why wouldn't he do the same when he was in charge? So I feel like then I was like, okay, you know, this is the way it goes. Well, that is the way things started at La Folie, a San Francisco institution. Roland ran with his wife, Jamie, from 1988 to 2020. Roland's great success, though, came with a price paid for by his staff. I was definitely not easy in the kitchens. I was pretty violent in the way of screaming and yelling. I was uh, abused and I became the abuser. But it was his wife who one day challenged Roland to change, to treat people the way he wished he had been treated. In other words, be as good a person as he is a chef. I need to change my way of managing people, of really getting people to listen to me, but showing them the way instead of being like the, a tyrant, uh, realizing that there's other way to manage people. The result Roland soon saw was remarkable. Staff who weren't scared were more confident, more creative, and made for better chefs. He had taken a chance, and it paid off. Which may explain why when the nonprofit Sprouts Chef Training asked him to take a chance on someone else, <coughs> Roland was open to it, and it paid off again. I was so good for you. Caitlin DeRosa was 15 years old when she came to intern for Roland at La Folie, a truant, substance abuser, and runaway. Just very lost and confused. But in Roland's kitchen, Caitlin thrived. The family atmosphere he now presided over was something she had long desired. I don't think there's anything else I would rather do in life but work in a kitchen. Caitlin is now embarking on her own journey as a chef, grateful for the opportunity Roland and Sprouts gave her and promising to make the most of it. There's a saying in French, they say, impossible is not French. So everything is possible and you can change, you can realize then there's a better way. There's always a better way. The success there uh, that Sprouts had with Rolam and Caitlin is growing. They serve 25 young people, placing them with mentor chefs. I think wow. it's doubling next year. They plan on doing 50 next year. And I think more than 80% of them, or 75% of them, end up with jobs in the food industry, mm. which is exactly it's what they're looking for. fantastic. And you know, when you told me earlier this week that you were going to be doing this story on Roland, I told you that he and Jamie have been friends of mine for the last 25 years. Uh, it's been crazy, and they are just wonderful people. And if they gave out Michelin stars uh, for kindness and being a good friend and being a good family, then he'd have more Michelin stars than anyone. Yeah. It was such a joy getting to, getting yeah. to meet him and getting to know him, yeah. Yeah. and hopefully one day eating the food. Oh my God, <laughs> I have to confess, he has cooked in my kitchen and it was spectacular. Oh. I didn't get that chance, but I saw the oh, pictures man. and it looked spectacular.